how is it going everybody mr android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel well if you have just bought yourself a brand new pixel 7 or 7 pro then here are some of the best tips tricks and hidden features that will definitely make your pixel experience a lot better i am sure you will find something new and useful in this video so stay tuned and watch it till the very end also let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one so drop a like leave a comment and let's get started First things first, let me show you how to activate the always on display on your brand new pixel phone. If you go to your phone settings and search always on display, you will not find any such option. Instead, you need to go inside display settings, select lock screen and here you will find this option that says always show basic info on lock screen. It is disabled by default, you just need to turn it on. Once done, you get this beautiful looking always on display that shows the date and time and all your notifications. I personally like the look of this always on display and I think it looks much better than the iPhone 14 Pro Max always on screen. Next, let me show you a couple of home screen customization options. If you really want to reduce the size of these app icons, you can easily do that by changing the app grid. All you have to do is simply long press and select wallpaper and style. Now scroll down and change the grid size to 5x5. This way you can have 5 apps in a row and it does save a lot of your space as well. Apart from this, if you want to customize and change the look of your app icons, again go back to wallpaper and style and enable this option that says themed icons. Now the color of your app icon will change automatically depending on the wallpaper that you have applied on your home screen. Next, if you swipe down and open the notification panel, even though you get all the useful toggles, I would still suggest you to add one more toggle called the extra dim. Simply click on this edit icon and drag the extra dim feature to the top. Now what it does is, it dims the screen beyond the minimum brightness. This can be extremely useful at nights when you really don't want to disturb anyone around you. Again a very useful feature and I will highly suggest you to add this additional toggle to your quick panel. Next, let's talk about one of my favorite feature called now playing. If you go inside display settings, select lock screen, here you will find something called as now playing. Once you turn it on, what it does is, it basically shows the name of a song that is playing around you on your lock screen. I think it's a very convenient feature and the best part is you don't have to install any third party application, you get this inside your phone settings. If I double tap on the back of my phone, it takes a screenshot. Not only this, you can assign the double tap gesture to turn on the torch light, show notifications, play or pause music or open any application of your choice. To activate this on your phone, go to your system settings, select gestures and then click on this option that says quick tap to start action. Simply turn it on and here you can choose from a bunch of different actions. Did you know Pixel phones not only have features like adaptive brightness or adaptive battery which you can easily find in most other Android devices but it also comes with a very unique feature called adaptive connectivity. Just go to your settings, select internet and network. Here you get this option called adaptive connectivity. If it is disabled on your phone, make sure you turn it on. It helps you to extend battery life and improves device performance by automatically managing your network connection. Next, if I open my recent apps menu, not only it shows all my recent applications, but it also allows me to copy anything from this menu and paste it anywhere I want. I can copy photos, text or even links and share them to my friends directly from this menu. It makes it so simple. I mean you don't have to take a screenshot or use Google Lens. You can simply copy anything directly from this task manager. Another feature that I found inside this recent menu is when I click on any app icon, there is an option called pause app. This will block notifications from that specific app for the rest of your day. Let's say you don't want to receive notifications from WhatsApp for a while. You can use this feature and then you can easily unpause it anytime you want. Even though the Pixel 7 comes with 90Hz refresh rate and we get 120Hz on the Pixel 7 Pro, even if you have already enabled the high refresh rate option by going inside the display settings, when you open certain apps, the refresh rate goes down to 60Hz and it doesn't feel very smooth. To fix this, all you have to do is go to settings, about phone, software information and tap on this build number for 7 times. Now if you go back and select system, here you get a brand new setting called as developer options. Just go inside and scroll it down till you find this option that says force peak high refresh rate. It is disabled by default, simply go ahead and turn it on. This will make sure your refresh rate always stay at 120Hz and it definitely makes the animations feel smooth and better. Did you know, there are some applications that doesn't support split screen feature. Let's say if I open play store in a split screen window and now if I want to open Instagram, as you can see the app doesn't support this feature. 
Let me show you how to open any app in a split screen window and improve your multitasking experience. Simply go to settings, select system and then select developer options. Again you need to scroll down and search for something called as activities to be resizable. Just go ahead and turn it on. Not only this, you also need to turn on enable freeform window and enable non resizable in multi window. Once done, now if I try to open Instagram in a split screen view, I can easily do that without an issue. I will highly suggest you to enable this hidden feature. I am sure you will definitely find it extremely useful. By default, if you press and hold the power button, it activates the Google Assistant instead of showing you the power off menu. To fix this, again go to settings, select apps and then select assistant. Here you will see something called as hold power button for assistant. It is enabled by default. You just need to turn it off. Once done, now whenever you long press the power button, you will get the power off menu. If you have already applied a screen protector or a tempered glass on your brand new Pixel phone, you must enable this important setting that I am about to show you. Simply open your phone settings, select display and scroll it down you will find an option called screen protector mode. You just need to turn it on and it increases the sensitivity and improves touch response when using a screen protector. Definitely enable this feature. Next in the settings, if you go inside notifications, you will have this option called notification history. You can enable this feature if you really want to keep a track of notifications that you receive on your phone. There are times when we remove some important notifications by mistake. In such situations, you can make use of this amazing feature. Next, if you go inside display settings and then select screen timeout. Below you get this option called screen attention. What it does is it prevents your screen from turning off when you are actually looking at it. I think it's a very useful feature and I will highly suggest you to turn it on. Pixel 7 and 7 Pro has an exclusive feature called unblur that helps you to reduce unwanted blur from any picture that you have in your gallery. All you need to do is just select the photo and then tap on this edit icon. Here you get this option called unblur. Simply click on it and within few seconds it completely removes the blur from that picture. You also have the ability to adjust the amount of unblur you want to add. This feature works seamlessly on any picture no matter whether it is taken from a pixel device or not. Another useful feature that we have in pixel devices is called magic eraser. What it does is it helps you to remove any unwanted objects from your photos. All you have to do is just tap on this edit icon and then select tools. Here you get this option called magic eraser. Simply tap on it and then select the object that you don't want in your picture. It works flawlessly without any issue. Definitely try these unique features. It will make your pixel experience a lot better. Next, let me show you some camera features. Did you know your Pixel 7 and 7 Pro can record up to 4K 60fps videos. So when you shoot videos on your phone, make sure you have set the resolution to 4K 60fps so you can record high quality videos from your smartphone. Not only this, you also get the option to record cinematic videos on your phone and this feature is exclusive for Pixel 7 and 7 Pro users. Next, you need to go inside more camera settings and make sure you have set the picture quality as full resolution. Finally, you need to enable this option called video stabilization. This will reduce camera shake to make video smoother and better. So that's pretty much it for this video. These are some amazing tips, tricks and hidden features for your Pixel 7 and 7 Pro. If you guys like this video, then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I'm Mr. Android and I will see you guys in the next one.